In this video, we will learn how to find distance between two objects in GTL5. Many times we are required to find distance between two objects. GTL provides inbuilt functionality for this purpose. Just let's just get started. We will start by creating an empty project. So click on create a new project and name it distance between two objects. Let's quickly add a scene and a sprite. Let's add another sprite. I will also add text to display the distance between these two sprites. Let's add ob these objects to the scene. I will increase the size of the text as it is uh, not visible. Now let's head over to the event sheet. I'm going to add an event. For an empty condition, we will add an event to display the distance. So I'll choose the distance. Choose modify text and operator be set to and click on the expression button. We first have to convert expression to string, choose conversion and then number to text, click on the expression button and then search square root, I'm going to type square, sq and choose square, click on expression again and this time, okay, wait a second, click on the expression and then search square again. And this time choose a square distance between two objects. Select the two objects as new object 1 and new object 2. Click on apply. Let's get back to the game and play it. The distance between these sprites is displayed here. It's 353.54. Let's make them draggable so that we can change the distance between them. Choose a new object, go ahead and get to the behaviors, add a behavior, choose draggable, click on apply, repeat the same for the other object, choose draggable, click on apply, let's play it again. Now we can see that change in the distance is displayed as we move these objects closer and farther. The square distance between these two objects gives us well the square of the distance between these two objects. So that is how that expression works. Now if we take the root of this expression we get the real distance between them. So this is why we use the square root function. Let's see if I can make it exactly zero. Okay never mind. Uh, okay, so if you don't want this fractional part, then just get back to the event sheet and uh, apply the floor function. Just do it as I'm doing if you don't know about parentheses. Okay, so now we are going to play the game and so the distance is now displayed without the fractional part. Thank you very much for watching and please do this step for sure. Bye.